I know whenever the video starts. Yeah, the vid video already started, man. You haven't oh, introduced okay. us. No. Hey, hang on, let's bring out that uh, beautiful title card. Hey, guys. Lauren here. Got Dead EMR. Hello. Got Diabetes Ninja. Top of the morning. And this is Legend of Valkyrie. This is one of my favorite arcade games. Um, is, your, I, is one of your friends a Sour Patch Kid? Uh, that's a golem. She's a golem. She's a very sour, sour, sour patch kid. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, yeah, this is the Arcade Archives release of this game, which they did not release in English, even though an English version of the script exists. Because, you know, we're trying to preserve arcade games, except for when Pat, uh, Mrs. Patman needs to be eradicated, or... You know, we gotta take music out of Frogger, or, you know, any other dozen of reasons why we would change an arcade ROM. In Sonic but, you know, Origins, you cannot listen to the Michael Jackson songs in Sonic 3. That's not them, though. No. Uh, that is not them. I'm just saying, on the preservation tip. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna just buy... Laurie, a little behind the scenes, I'm gonna adjust the volume on that. <laughs> Laurie is currently adjusting the volume. Yeah, yeah. Um. Alright, so, uh, full disclosure, we actually thought we were going to be playing this game much earlier in our lives on camera than we ended up doing it. Um, they they I, should do it. Well, yeah, I, so I, I did a little bit of my uh, Diabetes Ninja preparation that I always do for these types of things. Um, some of our contributors don't like the fact that I basically, like, try to be the wiki for the game at you, but... I don't know, I think that it's okay to be informational. So, but whenever I was like looking up information about this game, uh, Lar also did, and he had different information to me, so if my information is like wrong, hopefully the editor will like correct my bad information and like put the appropriate information. Also, my information is 18 months old, so. Well, the game is older than 18 months, so I don't know if a lot of it has changed. Also, I can now do, um, well, I got a sort of grade I'm about to go to another... Maybe you just had a giant turd in I'm gonna start... So I'm about to go to another cabin where I'll learn magic. Okay, he's about to learn magic, so what are you doing right now? What are you throwing? Oh, it's a sort of grade. Yeah, but is it magic? Uh, no, it's a sort of grade. It looks like magic. No, it's a sort of grade. Look, okay. I will concede. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, see, there's a giant turd. Like a dog. Well, oh, giant. the pot. Yeah, a giant dog doo doo. Okay, uh, so. Whenever I was looking up the, the information for this game, there's actually a lot to uh, chew on. Um, so, Google users have a 92% like rating of this game. Now, I found that obscure games like this will have, like, really, like, stilted and misleading, like, scores, because the only way that you would be interested in, like, weighing in on the subject is if you liked the game, because if you did not like the game, you presumably have been ignoring it, uh, basically since 1989. Um, I don't think that will be true for, like, uh, Cyberpunk players. Oh, shit. Oh, but what I'm saying is... People are like still airing out their grievances now, close to release. If people had any grievances about this game, they would have aired out their grievances much like, you know, people wouldn't be interested in doing that years later because they're never going to run into this uh, game, um, probably. And if they were disinterested in it, I don't think they would spend much time hating on it. Wow. You heard it. He, you can now complain about this old game now. Yeah, if Aww. you think... If, if what you're seeing doesn't rub you the right way, you can get on Google and lower that 92 uh, <laughs> out of spite. Um, we know how petty you can be. Which, you know, don't uh, do not do that, I guess. I don't know. Or do that. It's a free country, I guess. Um, or if you like wanted to do this like weird thing where you were like showing that Google voting is not a reliable narrator or whatever, I guess you could get on there and like give it a bad review so that way you'd be like, ha, see, this is proof that you shouldn't let idiots on the internet vote on things because they're just going to, like, do it as a troll or whatever. Anyway, so not being able to, like, read what's going on 
All that I know is what the wiki page says, which the inspirations for this game include Viking folklore and the Wizard of Oz. So you can see the uh, Viking folklore elements. The Wizard of Oz parts, I'll have to pay attention. Well, that man is a monkey. That sounds wrong. It looks like a monkey. Oh, I don't have enough money. Yeah, really weird widow speak. Alright, well. He's either a monkey or he's Hugo Weaving. Is Hugo Weaving a monkey? He played a monkey. In what movie did he play a monkey? In, uh, I think the Planet of the Apes remake from Tim Burton. Oh. Do I think. How do I. How am I comfortable with that? It's okay, I mean. I'm he, pretty comfortable with Hugo Weaving. I, I mean, it was. A monkey? Uh, it was Hugo Weaving acting like Hugo Weaving. But as a monkey. Was like a very angry looking monkey. You know, I was never Motherfucker. really Motherfucker. I was never really done with Hugo Weaving, and if he had like a resurgence, similar to the way that Keanu Reeves had a resurgence, like I would definitely welcome this. Um Apparently it's just a stage actor now, he just you know just he's in plays. I, that's fine. But, I, mean, I mean, okay. It's fine, but he he could be in movies though. You know what I'm saying? You just want to be in a play whenever you can be in a movie. God damn it. I like it that I'm going in on plays. Like, I'm just like, yeah, dude, plays. What, what the shit's up with that? Why? Here you were defending an old game against people who like new games, I guess. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what he was doing. He was talking about having old notes. Having old notes, yeah, but... Then we went into ratings. Alright. I don't know. Anyways. Those people are talking wrong. They're talking from top to bottom. What's the problem? <laughs> Ooh, I'm not commenting on that. Look at it upside down. So this reminds me kind of like Zelda, but with a jump. Yeah, like the original um, Baku no Boken. Uh, which is, this game is a sequel to, is very um, Zelda inspired. So that that doesn't surprise me. But this game, uh, this one was actually in the arcade, so they wanted to like make the action a lot faster. And I think adding a jump uh, and making it more of a shooter, which Namco was very known for at the time, was a good call. Hold on. So, I'm going to be honest with you. Usually, whenever we let Lar be the guy on the sticks, he usually shits the bed immediately. Like, it's pretty... <laughs> he's usually not able to, like, have a good accounting of himself, and he, like, looks like a... Perhaps he's, like, trying to, like, play with, like, real, like, grease-covered hands or something like that, but this is, um... If you're doing a bad job, I can't tell. So, I want to commend you for masking how good of a job you're not doing. Because this actually, like, looks like you're doing what you're supposed to do. So this is not a real good optimized run, and I've actually already continued once. Uh, because I did shit the bed at the beginning. But, uh, on the ACA leaderboards, I am top 100 on both PS2, or PS4, and Switch. As far as I'm aware of. I mean, the internet's actually down right now at my place, so... I, I was going to play this on the leaderboard to check... How convenient. I don't, well, I mean, we'll just have to have the editor say what I am now, close to the time of upload. Alright, um, the editor will speak the truth. Man, if we... Whatever would put him out of the top 100, we have to find that many people to play this game. <laughs> yeah, honestly, when I first bought this game, there wasn't even a top 100 when right. I initially put in my score. So, visually, I like everything that's happening. This game is so good. It looks real fun. It's so fun. It's so good. So, in 1991, um, there was a Japanese publication called Gamist, uh, who awarded the game the Best Arcade Game Ever Award. So, like, do I pre, that? pre Street Fighter, like, 
there was at least one gaming publication of some note that thought this was the best arcade game ever. Now, I don't know if you, for whatever reason, don't think that Street Fighter 2 would have, like, dethroned this. Uh, you know, I guess, like, he's in the out of the holder or whatever. There we go. Man, I like the art direction, music. I wish I knew what was happening, actually. I am enjoying this enough that I wish that I had any clue. Uh, we're, we're collecting... Well, we got the gold seed, and now we gotta, like, put it somewhere. And this uh, old man's gonna help us, and it's gonna restore balance. That's basically what I remember the plot. Um... He is a nose. How very Japanese. I guess. Um, and then we want these bombs. We are here for these bombs. Bombs are cool. So for those who uh, who also like what they are seeing, um, Apparently the game is like widely available a bunch of different places. Well, now that the Ace um, Arcade Archives ACA on uh, modern consoles is the easiest way to get it. It used to be real hard to track this down. It used to only be available on the uh, Namco Collection Volume Five, and that's just a hard disc. It's very expensive too. Right, and that. Uh, but yep. that's the only way to get it in English, because you know, arcade for. You know, preserving stuff that only matters when money's involved, I guess. I'm kind of salty about it. Well, you know, I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but, like, I just think that when it comes to preservation, whenever the fans do the heavy lifting involved in, like, putting together hacks that fix those types of things. I think whenever companies are like, no, you don't get it in English, and we mean ever, but then if you try to make it be in English, then we will do cease and desist orders. I really don't like it that they like do both of those things. It's like, please do one or the other. We literally just want to be able to like, you know, play the Phoenix right. English, please, like... Oh, all the Phoenix Wright games are in English now. That's okay. an updated example. Okay. <laughs> so, full disclosure, I don't monitor these situations. Uh... <laughs> I have things to say about them, but we're not <laughs> monitoring them. God help us. Well, uh, listen, if, I feel like uh, having me here to make outdated arguments no longer apply is basically the point. Like, It, it applies. Um, it's just not that example. But, I don't know. Um, Namco's pretty good about... Like, no one's ever went after the English version of this, you know? Um, because there's like a... There's an actual arcade hack that you can put on your arcade boards to put this in English. If you own the arcade board for it. And Namco, as far as I know, has never given two shits about people doing that. Is that like similar to the Ms. Pac-Man thing? Um... Similar, but, like, they never embraced it. They, at one point, kind of, you know, embraced them as a Pac-Man speed hack. So. Did I? No, okay. I, I went where I didn't. I won't hate this path, but I hate this path so fucking much. Ugh. She stretched. Go! Alright, so, um, I don't know where we're at now, but I know that whenever I originally wrote these notes, uh, a Mr. CD had, uh, the top spot on, uh, speedrun.com at, uh, 13 minutes and 39 seconds, so we'll have to take a quick updated look at that and see how fast right now it is. Oh my god, I over- oh no! Oh, about to die. I don't know what the world record is now in July of 2022, but... So, 14 minutes in, we should already be done. Uh, I've seen the speedrun of this. It's really interesting. Um, I have never... Shit. So, ah. Okay, so she turned into an angel, so there is a heaven. 
Yeah, so I actually dropped in from heaven at the beginning of the game. Oh. Which I believe is a reference because at the end of um, Valkyrie No Boken, like, I'm pretty sure at the end of the game you get rewarded by going to Valhalla, like going to heaven. So for this one, they need you to save the world, you have to like come from heaven. So it's consistent with the original. Um, you know, I will. I do think this, if they contemporized it, could be something. I wish we could view this through a more modern lens. Uh, so have you seen the uh, Tower Draga arcade multiplayer game? Probably not, no. Yeah, I don't think it's, came, it's come out to America ever, but there's a four-player Tower of Draga game that's a lot like this, and Valkyrie's even one of the playable characters. And it's it looks super fun, but obviously I've, I've never been able to play it. I, I like it whenever the game is just like, did you know that you were outgunned? Fucking look at the thing you're fighting. Yes, you knew you were outgunned. So I'm bad at using it, but actually when oh. you go into um, Magic, you got iframes. So a good player will actually, whenever bullets are coming in, switch over to the Magic menu and like, face through them. Alright, you ready to see like, the number one bullshit about this port? Okay, yes. It's coming up. Oh. That's the jump. Ah. We. We. Oh, I wish it didn't. That's vexing as fuck. Huh. A bull ram. What's up, man? Oh, that's horse shit. He talks to you. Yeah, he, he says this guy's up here, an asshole. So ah. this guy's gonna ask me a question about the game. Uh, he's at literally gonna ask me a trivia question about the game. And if I guess wrong, I'll lose health, and if I guess right, he'll let me by. Um, but since I can't understand what the fuck he's saying, I'm gonna guess B? And, uh, he laughed, so the answer was C. Thanks for your $7.99, assholes. We have an English script, we just didn't release it. I think you were pretty brave. I'll, I'll award this an as. As. So we'll continue one more. Um. I don't necessarily. Do we want to continue spam the entire game? This game. This game gets really hard, and I actually want to um. Replay it for a score attack later. So. Let's see how far I get on this. Oh, I don't need to kill you. Hello, Ram. I don't need to talk to you either. We'll guess A. Ah, uh, next correct. Aha. So I want to tell you an anecdote, right? All right, go so, for it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this game called Quiz and Dragons. It was on the Capcom uh, collection that came out on the PS2, and. One of the questions asked whether or not the Houston Rockets had ever won the NBA championship, and I knew the answer was yes, but it turns out the answer was no when the game came out, uh -huh. and so I actually like lost the stupid game Ooh. because the game didn't know what it was talking about. They didn't update the answers to reflect the fact that the like Houston Rockets had like become NBA champions. Like that was the end of the anecdote, I guess. Like whenever they like It has nothing to do with uh, this, but hey I'm glad you should <laughs> Well no like that guy was asking you a question and I was just like man oh. in addition to you not knowing Japanese wouldn't it be stupid if he was asking you about world events, but then they, like, covered material that happened after the release of the game to where it turned out that he was wrong? You know what I mean? Like, no, what, if, what if he asked you about the game? It's all stuff that happens in the game. Either in the cutscenes or, um, 
I think one of the questions is like, what's your sidekick's name? Um, you know, which again, the game would tell you if you, you know, paid attention. And the side of the cabinet would have told you too. So they didn't. They didn't do that, thankfully. I'm trying to like think about what behavior are they trying to incentivize. And did anybody's gameplay habits ever get, like, molded by that stupid event in the game one time? Like, somewhere, there's, like, a guy that, like, became really cognizant of all the sidekick fucking names moving forward because of the stupid question. They don't want to, like, like lose the game because you don't know the stupid sidekick's name. This guy looks like he put the fun in fun on. Put the lady side. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of silence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've already read my notes. Oh, I only have 600, not 6,000. Oh, oh. Jesus. Yeah, we're gonna have to just say bye to this dude. Yeah, well. Bye, Hugo Weaving. No. Damn. Spin. So if you <clears throat> continue right as you're dying, you'll have all your stuff and just keep playing. If you wait too long, you'll have to go to the, um... The, the game over screen. So, speaking of spin, so, like, I know that there's such thing as spin class. I have no idea what happens in there at all. Like, I, like, it sounds like pretty self-evident, like, what a spin class would be hell. like, but I'm thinking about looking it up on YouTube. You know, that's a good question, actually. I think it's, I want to say it's like Pilates. I don't know. Um, is Pilates yoga but more moving? Yeah. Can you just do that forever? I mean, yeah. not forever. Spin to win. What? Oh, what's about this? I was gonna say, I don't see the downside. It's a lot of magic. I could have sworn you were talking about Pilates at that point. Couldn't you do Pilates but forever? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, oh, okay. Okay. Why is this happening? Why not, dude? Weird shit. Gotcha. Are these people obstacles? No, no, no. They're, Can I kill them? They're good. No, you shouldn't. Okay. People who kill them are bad people. All right. Like that guy. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my. You're fighting. Um. Oh. So I had this bit where I usually am like. Yeah, but are we secretly the bad guys? We... I don't suspect that that's the case here. Yeah, like, no. We are probably not secretly the bad guys. Lily came out from heaven. Yeah, I was about to say, she came from heaven. She's fighting this guy. He turned every bit to ash. I'm just saying... She's killing a possum, though. Yeah, also... Also, Ooh. that guy, like, murdered all those people in cold blood. Yeah. Play a good person. It's there like, we go. I could like maybe like see if those people were like politically oriented like different than himself. But like Wow, we don't but even... still mass murder. So I'm on a boat and I'm in a different place now. I'm on a boat. <laughs> Ah, see, now that Wizard of Oz yeah. is blue. Now, these my are like the freeze. first enemies of the games. Yeah, my, yeah. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, no. I could tell. I had to get my notes. I've been preparing for this emotionally for 18 months. He... I feel like my delivery was not very crisp. I'm... I feel like my life is going to like gonna be lots of like regret at the end of my life from like my not having delivered the notes that crisp. Man, that thing's still, still going, huh? Whoa! It's a negative... So I forgot you're... that was there. So now you're fighting the rain. Motherfucker! Oh, I can't get back up. Map to the map. Motherfucker! I can't get back up to my, like, inevitable... Oh. 
I was gonna say death, but like all that money. It's fine. Alright, I don't wanna fuck with the worms. Yes. I have to fuck with the worms. Kill the worms, kill the earth. The thing about fucking with worms is that they're they're better experienced at it. In real life too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm just saying that's all worms do. Yeah. Worms really do fuck around and find out. Yeah. Did you guys ever uh, get upset at Echo the Dolphin, like where you had to like do things to other marine life? And you just, I probably like felt bad about it. Good work. I um I got upset because it required me to play on Genesis. I'm joking. I like the Genesis, alright. What did right. that game make you do to other sea life as a dolphin? I'm gonna buy health, right. even right. though technically... Right. Right. Oh. Have you never played Echo the Dolphin? No. The further you get in, the more fucked up it gets. Good god. Like, that, that game starts off as a pretty cute dolphin game, and then it will not end as a pretty cute dolphin game. I wish I wouldn't have thought of that while well, <laughs> It sounds terrible. We will... We will let you play it for the channel sometime. <laughs> okay. Dude, you wanna know what? Now I'm gonna think about some lighthearted fear that I like played on the Genesis, like uh cool spot. You guys remember that game? That so I remember like seeing it at the rental stores and just thinking how a magical a seven up commercial could get its own game. I could get my own game. And uh so far the seven up commercial has um still been winning in that apartment, but I'm not dead yet, so I haven't given up hope. But then again, I mean, you know, Three, uh, two to three studios were dead when they got their game, so. Anything's possible. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants there to be a Lars Gaming Channel video game, uh, it would help tremendously if you like, subscribe, and uh, give us a thumbs up. What uh, the fuck is this shit? If you don't it's want that... It's called an advertisement, Lars. If you ever... No, like... If you don't want a video game of Lars... Then leave a comment in the comment section. No, like, what's this area in music? I mean, it does, it's upsetting. Like, I can't tell if, like, we're gonna break into a transition where it resembles Slaughterhouse. Um, or Slaughterhouse. So, you're sp so I remember going up. And, like, you go into the woods. Like, make sure the comment says how sexy what I am. What the fucking hell? Get the fuck off. I mean, we still want to hear nice things, even if you're commenting. Mm, the power of the mini-me. Do you, like Lara, think that all things should be translated to English for our benefit? If you release something in in a country... Okay, so this just looks back. I can't even take you seriously when you're acting like this, Jason. When you when you release something... Yeah, this Who's just looks that? back. <laughs> when you release something in a, a country, you should make it understandable in that fucking country. Because this game's already underrated, I'm, and, like, it's such a great game. I don't like that was a dumb <laughs> it's, it's comedy. I'm misunderstanding. Oh, my God. But, um... See, this game actually has a chance to be a classic that people could enjoy, but a lot of people I know will not even buy it, because why buy something you can't fucking understand? And that's a good fucking... That's a good point. That is a legitimate point. Well... I'll have those people know that in 1991, the publication Gamus thought this was the best arcade game ever made. Yeah, I mean... I don't know if I'm ready to follow them there. Because... I mean... It's damn good. It had an impact. It was a big deal in Japan, oh, which no, is a no. damn shame that Namco took so long to bring it over here. No, no, no. Good and best, like, may live in the same neighborhood, but they are not in the same house, you know? It looks real fun, and I do intend on playing it based only on... You can visually tell that this is fun. Like, you can look at... Damn. It reminds me of, like, the way that you can tell that Contra's fun as shit just by looking at it. It's visually communicative, like, that it's, like, fun. That cloud will come after you. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Stephen King was involved in this, because if you look at all the different kinds of things you have an adversarial relationship in this game, it's just like, you know, by the time that Stephen King is done, you're gonna be, like, scared of ghosts, 
time, children, fire, buckets, ropes, typewriters, old women, like hotel rooms, hotel rooms, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, cars, 14 to 8, dude, if you're not afraid of cars, yeah, like, he'll make you afraid of cars twice, Oh, yeah. All right, well... And clowns, dude. Mm -hmm. This was a 30-minute uh, showcase of Legend of Valkyrie, one of my favorite arcade games. It was not a particularly strong showing, but, you know, felt like I showed off a lot of the game. I want to come back and do another video on this where we're actually on the leaderboards. And see how good of a score I can get. Like I said, I've... Here they are in Japanese. All right, we're going to end this video before I go off again. Right.